morning, dear friends. I hope that you're doing well. And welcome back to Plants and Lucia. My name is Lucia, and this right here is Ines Maria. And today we're going to be talking about the beautiful Biophibum sensitivum or the little living tree. Okay, coming up. Whether you are coming back or this is your first time in this channel, thank you so much for being with me and watching this video. I am a plant beginner and I learn about my house plants every day. So this channel is to share with you what I learned. So if you want to learn how to take care of your house plants, how to display them or even how to connect with them, make sure to subscribe so we can see each other every week and talk about plants. But now, let's get to the video. In the wild, this plant is usually found in wet soils and very close to streams and waterfalls, so in very humid areas. Because it is very small, this plant actually grows underneath the shade of bigger trees. The Biophibum sensitivum is also commonly known as the little living tree. And there are many reasons for that. First of all, this plant resembles a miniature palm tree. And it is commonly known as the living tree because it shows life all around. Her leaves actually fall downward during the night and the branches go a little bit up. And in the morning, the leaves wake up. Another very cool thing about her is that her leaves respond to environmental changes, stress or touch. So if the plant is lacking water or is very cold, you will notice the leaves falling down during the day. And when we touch her, the leaves will also fall down and this is noticeable to the naked eye. So let me show you. Okay, so now let's see how you can keep your little living tree very happy at your house. As a little living tree comes from the tropics, they prefer warmer temperatures. So keep your plant in a room that is at least 18 degrees Celsius. As I said before, in the wild, this plant lives in very wet soils and usually close to streams or waterfalls. So they love humidity. You can increase humidity around her by putting her with other tropical plants that usually help each other with humidity levels. Another thing you can do is to put her on a humidity tray or close to a humidifier. In terms of light, this plant will thrive in filtered sunlight. Remember, in the wild, these plants actually grow underneath the shade of bigger trees. So they like sunlight, but not direct sunlight. We have our little living tree in our bedroom. This room has a northwest facing window so it gets afternoon sunlight and we have a curtain so she gets filter sunlight. So she gets bright sunlight but not direct sunlight, it's in a very indirect way and filtered. When we talk water we want to make sure that the soil is moist at all times. We got this plant this spring, so this is the growing season and I've been watering her every week. The way that I check if my plant needs water is with my finger. I put my finger inside the soil onto the first knuckle and then once I feel that the soil is drying out, then I water. This usually takes one week. And of course you're gonna notice that in the winter the soil will dry out slower. So go back in water. And as you may know, the method that I use to water this plant is the bottom watering method, of course. I love this method because it really helps me get the water into the roots from below. And then once I'm done, I let the water drain out through the drainage hole. So this helps me keep the soil moist but not wet and I don't overwater my plant. We got this plant in the spring this year, so this is the growing season. And we've been fertilizing her pretty much every week. But this is because we have an organic fertilizer. And organic fertilizers tend to be less concentrated than synthetic fertilizers. 
But what I would strongly recommend is that you read the instructions on your fertilizer so you make sure that you don't overfeed your plant. This is the fertilizer that we're currently using and I really like it because it's organic and vegan and it has proven to be very good for our plants. So if you want to check it out, I'll just put a link in the description down below so you can find it. In terms of body mix, an all-purpose houseplant body mix is perfect for this plant. One thing to remember is that drainage is very important. So you can increase drainage by adding perlite or pumice to your potty mix. Another way that you can increase drainage is by using a pot that has drainage holes. This will prevent you from overwatering your plant. If you want to make your own potty mix, I would recommend that you use two parts of perlite, two parts of worm castings, and seven parts of coconut coir. Now, let's get to the seedlings. This is an annual plant and may live longer than one year, but it may die suddenly after producing seeds. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to collect her seeds so we can propagate her and she can live longer. The beautiful little living tree will produce flowers that are different colors. So you will see flowers that are pink, you will see flowers that are yellow or orange or white. In my case, I found a flower that is pink and it's a beautiful little flower. After these flowers blossom, you will see that the seeds will come out. As soon as the seeds have ripened, the plants will project them outward. So, if you want to collect the seeds, I have two methods. The first method is to collect them before they ripen. So I usually use a toothpick and I just carefully take them out and put them in a container. Then you can submerge them in lukewarm water which will ripen the seed. Always put a lid on top because once the seed ripens, it may jump out. You will then see dark red seeds sinking to the bottom. So these seeds you can plant in the soil. The second way that you can collect your seeds is actually by putting a small plastic bag around the star-shaped flower. That way when they jump, they will actually be collected in the bag. Then you can actually plant them in soil. So, these are some of the tips that I can give you about this beautiful plant. Do you have a little living tree at home? How do you take care of it? Make sure to comment below so we can all learn together. If you would like to be part of this community, you're always welcome. So make sure to subscribe so we can see each other every week and talk about plants. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Okay, ciao!